Some open, some not. It's a toss-up for businesses along I Drive. No amount of rain was going to slow down this day. We strongly recommend that they bring a mask. We're not going to tell you that you have to bring it. For Eddie Hammond at Andretti Indoor Karting and Games. If a customer is touching it, we're cleaning it. From laser tag to arcade games, <laughs> everything needed retooling after Andretti closed 10 weeks ago. So how do you keep an arcade open with games right next to each other? You'll notice there's signs like these on every other one. Half of the games are off, uh, half of the games are on, half of the go-karts will be running, the other half will be being sanitized at all times. In addition to the signs, the shields, and the sanitizing, the company recently ordered two UV decontamination units for their go-kart helmets here at their Orlando site. It's a safety measure costing $24,000. That's not only new to us, but it's new to the industry as a whole. In fact, we are the first ones to get it. Well, the welcome signs are up. Some attractions like the ropes course won't reopen initially. As this complex eases into an unfamiliar way of operating. It's a new rebirth for our business. In Orange County, Clay Lepard getting results, News 6.